Joy, as part of a live street art event last summer at the cathedral, you were given the brief to create an image that looked at a lesser known aspect of Mary's story, that of a refugee. What was your immediate response to this request and how did that evolve into this creative expression? When it was first proposed, I was a little bit shocked and taken aback because it wasn't really uh, the way that I'd viewed Virgin Mary. So um, immediately I was quite excited and inspired by that notion because it like, suddenly is putting something quite human to uh, an icon that obviously is worshipped. And the difference between the, the idea of a refugee and the Virgin Mary is, it was mind-blowing in a sense. Uh, so portraying Virgin Mary as like a single mum uh, refugee seemed like a really powerful statement. So I was, I was pretty buzzing with that. <laughs> mm. And it is a really powerful and really poignant and provocative piece. So what do you think the role of the artist is in engaging with these large scale geopolitical issues? And how can the artist speak to the human condition? For me, I think I'd be doing a, a great injustice if I was just creating work that was purely for like, uh, purely for like visual effects. Um, I think it is important to respond to uh, things that are happening in in the the current political climate. Um, I think that, that it, there's a responsibility as a creative person to put a message out there. Like I have an audience. Um, and luckily, like they're generally pretty supportive, uh, but it it's good to to challenge perceptions and and make people think. And I think, you know, like I need that substance in my work personally. And I think it's an important thing to do as as any sort of creative. As someone who would describe herself as spiritual but not religious, what was it like to be working with the church in this way? So initially I was really overwhelmed by the idea, but having previously had uh, some experience of working with York Minster, um, I wasn't so overwhelmed that I shied it away, do you know what I mean? So I came down and essentially felt completely blown away by the scale of the place, by the art that was surrounding it. Um, even the positioning of where everything was, everything was so aesthetically pleasing. Um, and the ambience of the place itself, it just, it all just came together as I was working and I felt just truly inspired um, and it felt quite a spiritual experience in itself. So leading on from that then, in what ways do you think that having a piece of art like this displayed inside a cathedral is different to having it in an art gallery or on a wall outside for example? I think the environment of the place evokes an entirely different scale of feeling, like the, the presence of, of, of St Paul's itself, like, and having that piece of artwork there, it almost, it almost uh, boosts the overall vibe of the piece. So um, I didn't have, in some ways I felt like I didn't have to work as hard because it, it was almost like I was engulfed by everything that was around and the piece just sort of started to evolve in that, you know, taking inspiration directly from the things that were around me, the sculptures, the artwork, you know, I knew what I, knew what I was there to do, but it started to take on its own, its own life, in essence. In terms of people coming and viewing the piece, do you think the fact that it's in a cathedral then gives it a greater depth? I feel like it's... The, the best way to describe it would be if you were to watch a film with the sound down and no music, like a silent movie, um, you'd, be, you'd be maybe drawn into some of the visuals, but you wouldn't necessarily connect in the same way. When you have the music, music comes in, it evokes a completely different feeling. It's like, it's like suddenly something got, turns full colour. So the environment itself was massively important to the piece. Um, I had, didn't have to work as hard to evoke a response. When you work on the streets, you, you naturally get a response, but people maybe are used to seeing street art a bit more and you know, art around and about and advertisements are all bombarded by visuals. But I guess in this space, um, combined with the ambience and the atmosphere, it, it, it took it to a whole new level. Thank you. Now this project has led to another very exciting project for you. Perhaps you'd like to tell us a little bit about that. So by chance, um, a, a young girl got in touch with me saying that she basically was massively inspired by this. She's been working um, 
in schools like for like a months I guess years I'm not even sure but she her car had broken down and she was stuck in the rain uh, had like a few hours to kill and, and by chance came in here and saw this piece of work uh, was compelled to get in touch and as a result now we look to be going out and running workshops in the Calais jungle um, with young refugees uh, like on the front line um, with a view to get them to create their own pieces of art that we will then bring back over and exhibit in London and hopefully maybe travel it around a bit as well. That sounds fantastic, all the best with that and thank you both for participating in the project, for creating such an incredible piece of art and for speaking to me about it today. Thank you.